Hey, Lance Morgan here, and welcome to our Wealth Mastery course. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for this course. I have literally wanted to do this for so many years. I spent that year studying with Don Blanton and of course several years since then with this Circle of Wealth program. And as you can see here, there are lots of different lessons that we're going to cover in this course. There's so much to learn. I remember sitting there the whole time I was learning this thinking, everyone has to know about this information. And it's just so hard to do it in a one-on-one -on -one setting. So I have been wanting to put together this library of these lessons and all this training for so many years and I'm so excited to finally have it done and for you to be able to watch it. And so I'm so excited for everything you're going to learn. As you can tell, there's a lot of different things that we're going to cover. We're going to help you to build that foundation that you need to truly create wealth. And I am so excited for you to dive in and start learning all this information. So to kick off as a way of like introducing this course, I want to start out with our income game. Now, the reason why I want to start out with this is just to kind of set the stage on who this course is actually for. So ask yourself, would you, ask, would you say your income is common or uncommon? Well, take a minute if you want to pause this video and play this game, you or your spouse or kids, whoever with, are with you right now, pause your, this video and fill in the blanks. How much do you think that you would have to make as an entire household? This is adjusted gross income as a household. How much would you have to make to be in the top half of the country, All right? And then write down how much you think you would have to make to be in the top 25% of the country and how much would you have to make to be in the top 10% income earners? This is the top 10% income earners, the top 5% households and the top 1%. How much money as a household do you think you would actually have to make to be in each of these different categories? Go ahead, pause the video and take this challenge and see if you're even close to getting the right answers. All right, now are you back with me? Okay, let's go ahead and find out. Only $43,000 to put you in the top half of the country. So the top half wealthiest people in the country are making $43,000 or more. Crazy, huh? Did you get it right? Were you even close? Now, in the past when I've played this game with clients, they're way off on how much they think you would have to make to be in the top half of the country. It's pretty shocking, really. Now, how about in the top 25%? How much would you have to make? $87,000 puts you in the top 25% of the country, okay? How about the top 10%? Top 10% wealthiest families in the country make about $151,000. And top 5%, drum roll please, $217,000 to be in the top 5%. And what did you guess for the top mil or 1%? Top 1%, were you into the millions by chance? Only $540,000 as a household puts you in the top 1%. So if a family's making over a million dollars a year or $2 million a year, they're in the top fraction of 1%. Now, why do I bring all this up? Well, because in this training, in this Wealth Mastery training, you're going to learn some lessons that may challenge your thinking about money, okay? It may be outside your box of knowledge we like to talk about, okay? So when you're learning something, it may go against what you've learned from somebody else. Maybe you've listened to some other financial gurus that have told you one thing and then I'm gonna tell you something different. Well, in this training, in this Wealth Mastery program, First of all, we are going to use a lot of facts and not a lot of fiction, okay? This isn't gonna be full of opinion. This is going to be full of facts because guess what? Two plus two is always going to equal four. Somebody might tell you that it's five, somebody might tell you that it's three, but two plus two is always going to be four, all right? So math doesn't lie and in this training, we're going to be using a lot of numbers to back up some of the lessons that you're going to be learning, but this training is going to be for people that are in the top half of the country. If you make less than 43,000 a year, or I should say if your mindset is less than 43,000 a year, then you might not agree with some of these concepts that we're going to talk about because these are wealth strategies. These are concepts that the wealthy use. And so we need to change our mindset to get into that at least six figures, if not half million dollar range. We need to be thinking like the top 1%. I don't care what your actual income is, 
but we need to be thinking like the top 1%, all right? So when we go through all these lessons, if I tell you something that challenges what you have learned in the past, I want you to ask yourself if it actually makes sense, all right? Does it logically make sense? And do the numbers back it up, okay? We need to know if that is going to be, you know, something that you can wrap your head around. The other thing about this training is that if you look at the top 1%, they are paying 40% of all the taxes. So when we start talking about some tax strategies, right, it may not apply to you if you're in the bottom half of the country. So as far as avoiding taxes or investing in a way that you can minimize taxes, or if you're going to leave a legacy and try to leave the maximum amount to your family, these are wealth strategies. And so we are looking at, you know, these strategies that apply to the top percentage of the country that are paying all the taxes. If you're not paying any taxes, then it might not apply to you. Well, if you're in the top 5%, okay, if you're making over 217,000 a year, you along with the 1%, all of you are paying 60% of all of the taxes, right? And if you're in the top 10%, 71% of all of the taxes being paid are being paid by the top 10%, okay? And the top 25% pays 86% of all the taxes. So if you're in the top 25%, which of course includes the top 10, five and one, but if you're in the top 25%, 86% of all the taxes are being paid by you, all right? And if you're in the top half of the country, okay, you're still in that category that's covering most of the taxes. So basically the bottom half of the country only pays about 3% of the taxes. So like I said, maybe some of these strategies don't apply to you. So this course is for you if you want to have the mindset of the top 1% and if you want to create true wealth like the top 1%. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of people in that top 1% that don't have the right mindset either. So just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean that you've got the right mindset. So this training, this wealth mastery training is for you if you're in the top half of the country or if you at least think like the top half of the country and more specifically like the top 1%. We wanna have our mindset up here in the, not, in the top 1%, not just in the top half. So um, click on the next lesson and let's continue.